moved it downtown to be part of the Innovate Albuquerque. Sort of, uh, the innovation area. area down there, yeah. Part being innovative. Very exciting. And then you can get tickets on Hold My Ticket, just look up Marcom. But it's really expanded from what we had. I think there was there was about 100 of us at the first one. Actually, hey. it was at the Hyatt. Yeah, I think it was. Remember that? It was you and me and, and Webb, Webb Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> yeah. The old school crew. But you know. we had uh, Advertising Federation or right. American there. They were one of the signature first 10 groups that right. made this all come together. So. Right. One of, the, one of the groups that really, well, you guys were able to put some real marketing push behind it, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we've been around for a long time, since the 60s, right. the American Advertising Company. <clears throat> so we're really excited to be a part of Mar Marcom again. And were you born by then? Or? Was I was I born then? <laughs> yeah. After that, yeah, I was gonna say. The um, and Dar, what are you? How are you fitting into all of this? So Stacy brought me in because he wanted to do some really fun things this year. So we're gonna have flamenco dancers at the event. Oh, awesome! Yeah, and then we're also gonna do a networking chic. You know, fashion show. Oh, cool! Because the first thing that somebody sees is you before mm -hmm. they even meet mm -hmm. you. And so, right. how do you dress to network and to make a good first impression? Right. If you're so. wearing the wrong thing, or you're. Yeah, and yeah. you want to be comfortable. Um, Stacy and I were talking shoes, about that. Good no shoes. High heels. Yeah, a small heel like a kitten heel would yeah. be perfect. But you don't want to bring your. Stacy looks great in kitten heels. Kitten heels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys come up with that during Marcom planning? The first <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Kitten heels. Actually, we, we we'll stepped up from the kitten. Yeah. 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 Well, Stacy was wearing flats, and I was like, "Come on, man." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Up a little bit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and then we added the scarves later. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there is something like that. What are, what's maybe a couple of things that when you are going to networking event you want to remember? So, as far as your look, yeah. if you have a signature look, like everybody knows that you wear scarves, something right. that I would say, okay, what's my signature look? A good color. You know, Desiree's got a great blue, it goes with her eyes. Something that's attracting when somebody walks up to you and is like, you're open, you can have a conversation with somebody, great prints, a great wrap dress for women is always fabulous. I love color on men, so. What about something to put your name tag on? Because you always have, I is hate this, name tags. Yeah, don't we all, <laughs> like we all hate them tags. and we're forced to, to wear, wear them. them. Yeah. I yeah. was at a thing on Tuesday and you gotta put that, you know, you gotta put it on. Mm -hmm. And like for dudes it's pretty easy, we just yeah. put it on the jacket, call it good. Mm -hmm. But for women I've seen like, there's hair that gets um, caught, yeah, there's, yeah. in some women, you know, if, if, if the, the neckline is too low, it looks kind of funny on your shoulder, shoulder yeah. like, where do you wear it? How do you do that? What are some good tips for wearing So I, if, if you're going to do a bunch of networking events, I would say invest in like a magnetic. Um, oh. Poster. So that way it, it has your brand Wait, on it. St Stacy's a pro here. Yeah. Watch this. He's pulling his out of his pocket. Is it, is it hidden in your pocket there? Yeah, see? Right there. <laughs> right. It's exactly. my UNM Anderson School of Management. Yeah. Right. But I wear that. Come up that. with a Stacy Sacco logo. Right. Yes. We need, yeah, one. We yeah, need yeah. a logo. <laughs> right? No, she's right. If you can make up your own, and I think... Uh, nothing huge. I've yeah. seen some where they have, uh, they flash across. I'm like, oh my Ribbons God. and bells. I, and yeah. I mean, like, they're great. They get a lot of attention, but a little right. more subdued. Right. With your, you People know. want to remember who you are and know your name. They don't want to right. be bombarded with right. all of that, that stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. But when, you, when you're given the sticker, put it on the right side. I've always learned that. Because you're, you're right that way you, when you shake hands with somebody, it's right they there in front of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Never put it on the left. That's what I've been told. I don't yes. know. You learn yeah. something new every day. Right. But and the stuff I want to pick your brain about this morning, Stacey, is there you're like one of the best guys in town to work a room. You you can walk into any room, know nobody. By the end of the evening, you would know everybody. That's so true. Pretty much, yeah. pretty true. Right. So how do you do that? What are the tips? How does like the regular schmucks like us learn that skill? Oh my gosh. Well, I think we're all part of it's being personable, and you've got all of us here or that, and yeah, and I think interested in other people. But for me, a lot of it's about just having a goal when you go to a meeting. Two, three people you want to meet. You, you're on a little bit of a mission. You want to use mm -hmm. the time. Right. And I think it's the other side of it too. It's most people go to these events to sell something. Right. You know, uh, nobody's buying. So. Right. The trick really is to just talk to people about what their issues are. Maybe you can help solve that for them. So it's more about you helping them. Yeah. Not trying to sell something. I was at a thing the other night where somebody was like, do you need a new phone? Like yeah. that was how they introduced themselves. How do you tell somebody in those situations? Like, what do you do? Because I, I, I hate to be rude and just be like. No, get away from me, yeah. you creepy salesperson. Yeah. But you know, you want to make friends. You're a networking event to, to meet people. You know, how do you, as the you know, as the networking well, they said guy? That to me, I, I mentioned earlier. Somebody came over and said they gave me their card and said I need a plumber. Right. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm you know, but I knew somebody in the room who was from the Association of Building Contractors, so I got him. I basically pushed him on to the next person. Right. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but in some ways, it's get them to somebody that can solve their problems. So. Right. But in your case, I, I need you need a new phone. Um, no, but I appreciate, you know, you, I, I think you, 
you don't yeah. push back. Yeah. No, no, I know, but you know the idea of you know, it, it, but that's just a bad opener to yeah, or somebody. Yeah. I agree. You know, yeah. I agree. Right. And I yeah. tend to stay away from those type of events. Believe it or not, I'm right. a huge introvert. You're like the biggest networker I know. I'm so, <laughs> but I go with people. Like that is my game plan. Is I will go with somebody I know. If I have to go by myself, I'm like I won't go. That's a great plan. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. then they kind of force you yeah. to open up and talk. Right. To well, people. and we can help introduce each other right. to people, which right. is which is huge. You I know, think. one thing that's great about Marcom is we have 20 groups there. We're going to give them each a table, or in this case, a desk, because we're Fat Pipe. So like the Advertise American Advertising Federation. You're, you're going to be there. You're mm -hmm. the new president. Yep. So she's a great person to sit and talk to and find out about careers. So you don't have to work so much at trying to make these connections because they're there to help yeah. provide that connection. Right, right. So what is new with you guys? What is new on the, on the advertising front in Albuquerque? Uh, well, we have some really amazing talent in Albuquerque. I don't know we do. if anybody, that people really realize that, but we actually had one of our firms in Albuquerque won a national advertising award, mm. um, which is pretty amazing. So, was that um, McKee? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And what was really neat, we, so we did, we did our, we have our um, annual Addy Awards, mm -hmm. that we do every year, and um, we had some judges fly in from all over the country, and one of the judges said, you know, there's this piece that I judge that I actually saw this in a real life situation, mm. and this is some of the best stuff that I've seen, and I was like, wow, this is our market, this is right. our advertising. Because we think of ourselves, yeah. we often we're defeatist in Albuquerque Absolutely. about these things. We think we're a small media market, you know, two million people in the entire state. I mean, there's that many people in two city blocks in New York, mm -hmm. but our, our, we're just as talented. Yeah, we have great talent here. Yeah. We have people who have left and learned a lot and come back and apply it to, to living in Albuquerque and really, really represent our state and our community really well. The, and at Marcom, you're going to get to meet some of those folks, mm -hmm. see what they're doing, and anybody who's interested in a career in advertising in New Mexico, you can reach out to her and right. figure out where, who's hiring and what is going on. There's mm -hmm. a lot, right? Yeah, we have a great resource on our website. It's um, aafnm.org. Excellent. And that, I think, dovetails nicely. So go to Hold My Ticket, Marcom. Come join us Wednesday. I love it, Stacey. We'll see come you guys next week. And I'll, I'll see if I can get a Morning Brew name tag made. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll, we'll yes. help you out with that. We'll talk to the producers. <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of seconds on the Morning Brew with Friends.